I got into the new moon event early in Gorilla Tag, and here is everything you need to know. Lucy just spawned, but let me get right. Now, for those of you who do not know, Gorilla Tag just had a giant update where you can now spawn the moon monster, and the moon is completely changed. Now, you can do this by touching the black poles that are located all around the map, and let me just tell you guys, it gets weird. You're not gonna catch me, Lucy. I do not care. You're not catching. Holy crap. Lucy's getting fast. Oh, God. Now, Lucy's trying to catch me, right? But she's not going to, um, just for the mere fact that Lucy's just not her. You're not her, or him. Holy crap, you're getting fast. Well, let's just let Lucy catch me. Over here, though, of course. Over on stump. What are you doing, Lucy? Let's see, Lucy. Can I still outrun you? I definitely cannot. Holy crap, you're fast. So now, let me try and actually just spawn the moon. Okay. Do I have to keep tapping it? How do I trigger it? Guys, how can I trigger the moon? And these black poles that I'm talking about, I don't actually know the real name for them. They're like, I, I actually have no idea. They are, in fact, located on all the most highest points of every map. Most highest isn't really a word. But if you get near to them, they cause a very weird disruption in the noise barrier. Like, it makes a really loud noise. And I'll show this later in my video when I actually go into some lobbies. But um, I'm just going to show you where they all are right now. So this one's in forest. It's the prominent ones. It's how you actually spawn the moon. But in order to destroy the moon monster, you need to see all of them. So this is the first one in forest. This is canyons, which I don't know if you can actually spawn the moon with the other ones, by the way. But yeah, this is canyons. Mountains, of course, with its very cool Halloween theme. You will also notice that all of the black poles are pointing kind of towards where the moon is located in their designated maps. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You think you're gonna watch the rest of the video without without seeing me? It's future new tour here. And I wanted to tell you about something really, really cool that I got a chance to play a while back, and it's called Stilt VR. Stilt VR is an immersive first-person gorilla tag type game. And I'm actually gonna be showing you exactly what it's like to play and the new Halloween update that just came out. So if you'd like to get the game 60% off then use my code NEWTOR59 with a bunch of random letters on the end. It'll be in the description, so go down to the description down below to get a copy for yourself. They had a giant makeover. Look at this. There's quite literally, I can see things flying by almost actually. Yeah, there's, so there's fog everywhere. It looks spooky. Oh, there's the bunny guy. Get over here. Hey, no, no, don't leave me. Don't leave. How dare you? Oh. Yeah, so this is the complete Halloween makeover, as you guys can see, and I'm gonna try some levels as well. But as you can see, there's these spooky, scary skeletons that you can bounce off of, and they break, and they'll give you rewards in-game. Those are really cool. What else is there to, to discover here? This is a grappling hook, by the way, so watch this. I can, like, swing myself. And then as soon as I hit the ground, I can do it again. That's kind of cool. Dude, oh, double double grapple. I'm basically Spider-Man, guys. Watch this. Oh my- Ugh, and this one grapples me up. Oh, here's a giant spooky skeleton. What's gonna come out of it? Die, spooky skeleton. Oh my gosh, I just, like, actually broke it. What's up here? Oh, a flame power-up. I'm definitely taking this. So this means that for every single little light you can see, there's three shots. So one, three, and to recharge it completely, I just hit the ground again. And instead of like the gorilla tag movement where you don't move that far, the stilt where you have little stilts, you can move so far with just one swing compared to in gorilla tag where you have to go a couple of swings just to get to one place. But in this game, dude, it, you literally don't need to put that much effort in. It's awesome. What's that? Oh, there's diamonds. What does it say? Hobbs of horror. Collect the crystals to complete the ritual. What the heck? So, we have to go in there, don't we? We have to come- We have to collect the crystals. Okay, that's our job. Kill the pumpkin first. I know that sounded weird, but we gotta kill the pumpkin. Alright, let's head in. So far, this is at least a 7 out of 10 for me. Oh my gosh, it just got upgraded to an 8. Person! What the heck? Who are you, buddy? Make yourself known. Hello. I'm- We need your help! We're tracking down Jam! What do I do? What do I do? Follow oh my me. gosh, there's a ghost! Dude, there's a ghost! So where do I go then? Dude, I'm- I'm- I'm new to the horror mode. He's yeah, running after he's us, guys. So our goal is to find Run gems, we've been told, guys. The ghost is following us, everybody. And guys, remember, you can get literally 60% off to play this Halloween update early, guys. Well, it's actually not really anymore, so no. I just died again. Are you kidding me? Well, what I meant by that is if you, uh, we need one more gem, right? Yeah, so you guys can play with me if you'd like. I might do a stilt VR stream if you guys would like. Uh, but yeah, use my code, which is new for 59 or whatever, to get 60% off, I think it is. Left too far. What does this one say? RIP 765. What the heck? His arm just came out of the ground. That's really spooky. What the heck? That's a cool, that's a cool addition. Do the people, it's, oh my gosh, the ghost. What the Sigma? Guys, the ghost. It's after me. I'm in like this church thing. No, it's right there. The ghost is after me, guys. There's no gems in here. There's no gems in here, bye. Oh, I found a gem. I found a gem. Everybody, I found a gem. It's with you guys. It's with you guys. Put it in, dude. In. Yes, dude. No way. We just won. Oh my gosh, what the heck? Remember that you can get 60% off using my code, new tour, a bunch of random numbers. It'll be in the description of this video right after what the video is about. So just go down there, use my code to purchase it on, I think, Meta. Steam doesn't work for my code, I don't think. But you can get literally 60% off, which is, makes the game, like, I think, less than five bucks. And it's a very good game. So if you'd like to get it, then let me know in the comments if you got it, and I will heart your comment. And the last one that I know of being in beach, under this really big manifold, really. And the moon is just straight up here, if I can show it to you guys. It's right up there. So my predicament is that these bulls right here 
will be moving towards the direction of the moon on the day of the event. Now this will go down one of two ways. The first way is they will all just do it on their own. They will all move towards the moon and just destroy it and blow it up and that'd be kind of boring. The second one though is a bit more interesting where it has the player base controlling the live event. So whether or not there's enough people in the game is whether it'll decide whether the moon monster eats the map and bans everybody or if we survive and we destroy the moon monster. What I mean by that is on the day of the event, there has to be enough players in each map controlling each of the beacons or black holes to help destroy the moon monster. And if there isn't enough players in each map, the moon monster will not be destroyed. And I think this is a really cool method if this is part of the live event since it'll get more people on the game, it'll get more people hyped, and there'll be lots of people in every map. So no matter what map is your favorite, you can go to it and most likely help destroy the moon monster unless of course you're going to caves. I don't think that map has a, a beacon in it, but any map that is open to the sky will have a beacon in it that'll help to uh, destroy the moon monster. Now, if I make my way to city, thank you. Now, as you can see, now that I'm in City, you will notice that all of the trick or tricky threads are going to be changing in less than three days, which gives us either Thursday or Friday, when we are going to be getting the new Moon Monster live event cosmetics. If I can find them, they'll be on screen. Otherwise, I'm assuming I would have already deleted them. But if you guys didn't know, when I was, was originally leaking the Monst, when, the, when I was originally leaking the Moon map, I had these cosmetics, and basically what they are is I'm pretty sure there's a staff, there's a new, like, bow and arrow thing? I don't know how to explain it. And then there's a couple of head cosmetics, body cosmetics. Nothing too special, but just so you guys know, both of these are going to be changing and we might be getting a new 10,000 pound rock pack on how special Girl Tech is feeling. And I don't know about you guys, but I'm so hyped for this live event since Girl Tech has never had an official live event and it might prove to be their most successful thing yet this Halloween. And that is literally just three days away, guys. I'm getting really hyped for Halloween. Just really excited to trick or treat. I'm kidding. I don't know if I'll trick or treat this Halloween since I'm going to be playing Gorilla Tag, guys. But I uh, hope you guys are all getting excited. And now I'm going to be trying to actually get Get into the new moon monster live event, like the actual moon monster. So we'll see if I can do that. So what I'm thinking I should do is I should actually use my mod menu that triggers the moon live event as well as the top live event trigger. And maybe if I do them both at the same time, I will actually get the monster to come out and react uh, just because it's a double phenomenon. So maybe I'll get both of them and maybe I'll get the monster. So I'm pretty sure to spawn it, you have to just basically tap this a, a lot until the monster comes out. Oh, I'm doing something. It's about to explode. I can hear it. It's getting loud. Oh, yeah. Yep. I got it. I got it. Now trigger it. Trigger it. Dude, wait, wait, wait. It's getting bigger, I think, actually. I don't know if I triggered it. Dude, what the heck? Hold on. Hold on. My gravity is double. My little gravity is double what it would be. I think the moon's also double as big. Is the monster out, though? I can't tell because the monster has a mouth, right? Like in my thumbnail? Dude, what? It's way bigger than normal. I triggered it double. Holy crap. We might have to try this in a public lobby, but so far it looks like no success? Question mark? I, I can't tell. The moon is looking a lot bigger than usual. And is there anything that you can see through these special? Because I can see through these, you can see spiders. So can I see a mouth? I cannot see a mouth. Yeah, uh, it doesn't look like anything else changed. But I'm gonna go into a public lobby and try the same thing where I trigger it on top of people and then I'm also gonna use my mod menu to make it double as big. Yo guys, 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 who wants to spawn the moon monster with me? Or the moon map or whatever. Alright, I'll spawn it by myself. Don't worry, it won't take me long. No, you don't. I've done it by myself. It just you just gotta make it really loud. Oh, it's getting loud. It's getting loud, guys. But I spawn it. Just hit the top, guys. It's gonna start getting loud and then the moon's gonna spawn in. Hurry guys, we need to do this because I'm gonna make I might have the, the moon monster might come out this time. Alright, it's about to happen, it's about to happen. Guys! The moon monster's about to come out. I'm not joking. Listen how loud it's getting. Do you guys hear this? Do you hear this? No, they don't. No, they don't. Oh, they do. Yeah, they're lighting up. We're almost there. I'm, I'm giving you high fives, apparently. Oh, my gosh. Did we get it? We got it, we got it, we got it. Alright, double live bit, double live bit. Let's see what happens. Dude, I just triggered it four times. <laughs> oh my gosh. What the Sigma? Can I jump into the eyeball? Hold on. High ground fly. I cannot jump into the eyeball. Guys, is this sick or what? This is sick. Get to high ground, everybody. This guy's traumatized. This guy's traumatized right here. Dude, look at this eyeball. Dude, I don't know about you, but this is just weird. Why is an eyeball staring? It's having a staring contest, except it's already lost. Actually, we can leave the map. Okay, I'll try with you, dude. Hurry! Oh, I'm going out! Oh, I missed. Gosh darn it. Dude, I think it's getting smaller, man. I think the mood's getting smaller. Holy Sigma. Guys, imagine playing Lava Tag with this much of a speed boost or like this much of a low gravity effect. I'm on top of the pumpkin. Let's go. If I don't make this, then you have to subscribe. Ugh.
Oh crap, you're gonna have to subscribe, guys. What the Sigma? You gotta subscribe now. Listen to that guy. So far, very unsuccessful. Uh, I mean, maybe the monster spawned once. I just didn't see it. But a monster is supposed to be about the size of them, just a bit smaller. It's supposed to chase everybody. So, oh, we spawned Lucy. That's a monster. So, uh, I hope you guys all enjoyed this video as much as I may enjoy making it. Really fun. And as you can see, I can literally keep triggering it if it goes down. But it's really cool to just summon it with your friends. And next time, maybe I'll spawn the actual moon monster. But for now, I did not get into it early quite yet. Although, I might be able to make a video where I get into it early if you guys really want to see that. So, 500 likes, and I will go into the game files. Thank you all for watching, and as always, I will see you all later.